and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. 
There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia, and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain, and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb, and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader, and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out, and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against, and socialize with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. The biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. 
I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Film My Run on Zwift. My name is Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run and also Twitter at Film My Run and the website is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. to uh, Darren Van Ditt's meetup. It's um, 10K, speedy 10K. So uh, there's gonna be no talking, just running. Uh, so enjoy, chat amongst yourselves on the chat. We're watching Facebook chat, YouTube and, and uh, Twitch. I might be able to respond to one or two uh, questions in the chat if you want, if I can. Uh, but otherwise, we'll just get on with it and get this 10k <coughs> done. Can't see anyone else warming up, which is a bit worrying. Listen, forget to start the watch either. Uh, welcome along if you're watching. Thanks for tuning in. Um, it is literally running tonight that's it no talking no chat just a 10k in under 40 minutes <clears throat> and we go in about 30 seconds hello Susanna 
Well done this morning. Thanks for joining me this morning, Susanna. Good job. <laughs> okay. Up we go then. 14 point something, isn't it? per kilometre to start and Darren will just tell us when to speed up Leo enjoy it enjoy your hills outside <laughs> yeah this will be fine let's just try and keep it as easy and steady as possible Jens Conradi, we've got Dilwyn with us, Tidholm, Stanger, Radamasha, Luke Melling, Machete. <laughs> right, we're supposed to start at uh, 4.15 per kilometre. <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I want to do a PB tonight, uh, Leo. Just want to get a nice steady sub 40 in, but I guess we'll speed up towards the end. wait until uh, I'd rather wait until I've got a proper race outdoors do it then Paul Deering thank you I did say I wasn't going to talk didn't I Daniel hello <laughs> Daniel says almost done yeah Uh, Dylan says, looking good. Well, you're supposed to be racing as well, buddy. Or running. Anyway, just stay as relaxed as we can. Keep an eye on the heart rate. See how painful it gets. Right on. David Buckingham, thank you. Uh, Darren's got a problem with his foot pod. calibrated his foot pod. Down. 
me a second time. <laughs> You're just trying to get me fined. That's about five quid I owe now. <laughs> Can't believe you got me. That is embarrassing. zone four. to that one. I was conned. Right, 34 minutes left. Catching me out again. Andrew, yes, I think you should. <laughs> right, I'm not talking to any of you anymore. I'm supposed to be concentrating, and you're just making me laugh. Okay, we're going up to four now. Four minutes per kilometer. Let's go.
just need to settle down a bit. Settle the breathing, settle the heart rate. I won't get 40.01. Don't worry about that. Thank you. Yes, Jonathan. You see, you might be doing it on Zwift. Evening, John S. Yeah, comfortable first 6K. I agree.
Yeah, Leo, have a good one. Yeah, that'd be good, uh, Lucio. Certainly break your 10k PB there on the track. so easy to get set up with Zwift running. Here's what you need. Firstly, access to a treadmill. It could be at home or at the gym, but any treadmill will work with Zwift. To get you moving in game, we need a speed source. Traditionally, we use a foot pod, like the Zwift pod or the Stride. But you can also use the Run Smart treadmill sensor, your Apple Watch, one of the newer Garmin watches, the TSS app, and if you have a smart treadmill, your treadmill will connect directly to Zwift without the need for another device. Now simply download the Zwift app onto a Mac, a PC, an iPhone, an iPad, an Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. Finally, pair your speed source in the app. 
heart rate from your watch or a chest strap is also a great addition to Zwift. And that's it. You're all set up for solo runs, solo or group workouts, challenges and real-time racing on Zwift with people from all over the world. Uh, Xander, officially, my outdoor PB for 10K is still 39 hours, 39 minutes, 43. But that was a long time ago. Thank you.
Sometimes I stretch, Sander. Only, usually afterwards. Not before. Dynamic exercises before.
That was horrible. I was done in the last 2K. I had nothing on the last 2K. I just had to... Well, I have to dig something out. <coughs> well, that was hard work. Thank you, Stephen Smith. Nice. Uh, Brianna, thank you. Vidar, thanks, buddy. Daniel, DIY Tech Repairs, cheers, buddy. Uh, Lucho, cheers. Monica, thank you. <coughs> so, um, if you don't finish 10K, absolutely wrecked on the floor, then you haven't worked hard enough. I think that was almost all I could give then. <coughs> Maybe, maybe I could have pushed a tiny bit, little bit more, but I'm happy with whatever it was, 18, 47 or something. So that'll do. Right, I've got nothing left. So I need to go and have a shower and, uh, and recover. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks, John. Uh, well, it was Darren really that paced it. Darren basically said start at 4.15 per kilometer and then slowly increase. So that's basically what we did. And I, I just increased every kilometer a little bit and then kind of put it on a bit at the end there. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. The good thing about doing a negative split and also about doing um, a progressive run is, you know, you learn to suffer in the final stages of a run. You learn that you can, if you have to go faster, you can still go faster. So that's, that's what's great about progressive running. I wouldn't do it in a race. I um, mean, only maybe the last two kilometers of a race if I was feeling really good. In a race, I would even split as much as I could. So I would decide, generally with races, because I'm not competing for first place. Because of that, I, I can basically choose a time that I want to go for. So say I wanted to go for 38 minutes in a race. I would work out exactly what kilometre splits I needed to do it an even split. And I would start out at that pace. So I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't start slower and I wouldn't start faster hoping to bank the time or the miles. I would start at exactly the pace that I intend on finishing at. And then if I've got something left at the end, then I push. Obviously you've got to choose a realistic goal time. There's no point in me saying, right, I'm gonna do 31 minutes because I just, I can't hold that kind of pace. But a realistic pace that you, you think you might be able to get or you're not sure if you can get is just out of your reach, out of your comfort zone. Those are the, those are the times to set for your races. Right, pleased with that. All done. And uh, 
<laughs> Thanks, Lucio. Um, Dylan purchased a fan after Friday's 5K. He was way too hot and it came in handy today. Yeah, I've got a fan pointing directly at my chest. Uh, so that, it really does help, especially in the summer. Oh my goodness, in the summer, really, I, need, I do need to get an air conditioning unit for this, this room because in the summer it just gets absolutely baking hot. Right, that's it for fast runs this week. Um, we've got the marathon on Sunday morning. So um, we're doing the um, Watopia Run Festival Marathon at 8 a.m. on Sunday morning. That's UK time. So 9 a.m. in Europe. Middle of the night, though, over in the States and, uh, and in Argentina, where Lucho is. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid there's no, uh, there's no early marathon for you guys well there will be for your time obviously but that'll be afternoon for us uh right that's it okay i'm off thank you very much well done to everyone who took part in that today and thanks very much to darren for organizing that i wasn't keen on it being so close to the weekend i was hoping for it to be thursday but uh darren can't do thursday so okay five is it 5 a.m for you guys for you gosh okay that's later than i thought then Right, I'm off. Okay, take care and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.